Okay, remember that they're changing my voice. This video is my official stance on the system of sadism, right? The title is The System of Sadism is Not Health is Not a Healthy and Functioning Democracy, uh, Part 8. So now we are on um, point number 15. Basically, every single white Jewish and LGBT family in America has supported, reinforced, promoted, and upheld the immoral cultures that came from white America that to this day create criminals in the black community. Okay, so am I being racist to these people? No. Am I stating an important fact so I can build on that? Yes. This part of a series where I have many points that I make to build on these points? Yes. You know, you have no idea how many times white people who are gang stalking me, you know, to be fair, right, running a psyop, which is what a lot of groups do in society, mind you, have tried to interrupt me for saying this and say, say, you know, make it about criticizing someone else instead. I mean, it is immature as hell. They think that that makes their spirit great or something. They're way out of touch with reality. So, again, basically every single white, Jewish, and LGBT family in America has supported, reinforced, promoted, and upheld the immortal cultures and processes that came from white America that to this day create criminals in the black community. Because of the specifics, those criminals are more worthy of leadership than white America is. However, only I am worthy to lead. So as you see, I'm building up to something. Point number 16. To the masses of racists in America, black people are seen as less moral. They know that it is the other way around. You know, generally speaking, as a group, what have you. But they argue that if you act like a black person, that you get treated like a black person. And historically, in popular culture, they use the N-word, right? So if you act like a blank, you get treated like a blank. Obviously, God made black people the greatest and the most moral people in history for the root of this reason and many other reasons. Other races and black people that do not measure up have no right to say that the greatest of black people, right, the greatest of black martial artists of old and the genetic inheritance of, of these divine types, okay, uh, shouldn't be emphasized so that people can pretend that they're equal. Or that if we highlight this, that it's problematic. Okay? And of course, they're helping arrogant rich people pretend to be superior. So they made it hard for me to make this argument, but if you listen to it several times, you'll get what I'm saying. I'm going to go ahead and go over it again. This is an example of them knowing that I'm right and highlighting that I'm right by making it harder for me to speak while I'm making my point. To the masses of racists in America, black people are seen as less moral. They know that it is the other way around when we're talking about groups. But they argue that if, if you act like a black person, that you get treated like a black person. Obviously, God made black people as a group, the greatest and most moral people in history, okay, for the root of this reason and more, okay, because these other groups uh, on the spectrum, they kind of reject the idea that the black people are the most righteous, right, and when you think about it, you might say, well, that's, a, that's, that's, that's you know, it's because they're a different race, but it's not that simple, okay, when all you people went to church and you're pretending that the Jews were chosen by God, you weren't like, hey, but they're a different race, guys, but magically, when it's the reality of the situation, you say, oh, they're a different race, oh, they're a different race than me. I don't want to admit that. And I don't want my people to admit that. Okay, it's pretty sad. Again, I'm mulatto. I'm not racist. You know? Black people don't exactly show me love every day or something. But we have to get to the truth of the matter. We have to tell it how it is and chastise people according to their deeds as groups and as individuals because you come into a group spirit. That's why, you know, when we talk about um, Cush, he's referred to as an individual in a group, right? Cush and the Cushites, right? The people of Nimrod, right? So Nimrod, as a righteous person, and the people in the area who betrayed Nimrod, who became, you know, who merged with Assyrians and so on and so forth, and, you know, they fell off and they weren't righteous. And they were still referred to as the people of Nimrod, but they weren't in Nimrod's spirit. 
The Bible loves doing stuff like that, right? It's just like with the Jews, right? They're still giving you say they're Israelites, they're Israelites, but they're not the vast, vast majority of them aren't in Abraham's spirit. Like Jesus said in John 8, if you were Abraham's children, you would do what he did. They're not doing that. But when you actually are a member of a group whose spirit you formed together in like fucking Voltron, okay? And you're like, what do you mean? I'm just a part of Voltron. You formed to make Voltron and you're complicit in that kind of collective robots, you know, activities, so to speak. Okay. And of course, you know, they're, 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 you know, people who are like Carlton and, you know, Urkel, they have no right to say, hey, you know, what does that leave us if you highlight the greatness of black people is the martial art leaders, even though it's highlighted as a large degree, Narmer, Shaka Zulu, Black Panther movie, what have you, right? It's in myth and in comics and reality and, and more. Okay. And obviously, they are helping arrogant rich people pretend to be superior while they're making these arguments. That's not fair. That's not fair. Yes, yes, yes. Keep saying that's not fair and keep trying to make us seem superior. And everyone like that. I'm a scientist. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay. Point number 17. Pay the worker his wages. And this includes the generational moral inheritance of my family and the disdain due to the European governing class for their generational crimes against humanity. Should families that you know that extort the world, who commit generational crimes against humanity, okay, be seen as superior? No. And what what did you do wrong when you pretend that they're superior? When you kiss their ass? When you you paint yourself in British colors and go, oh, the royal family? What do you do? You you're you're not giving the righteous their rightful respect, and you're praising the wicked. In Proverbs, the person who wrote Proverbs knew that it was so despicable to praise the wicked. That in one of his proverbs, he says, when you're doing X, Y, and Z, you're praising the wicked. Okay? Because nobody should have any doubt in their mind that it is sick, stupid, evil, pathetic, and disgraceful to praise the wicked. 